Hey, 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 and good morning. How is everybody doing today? It is the day after Thanksgiving. So hopefully everyone out there had a great time. I know that I did, and I think that my family did. Um, and um, we just had a great day spending it together and hanging out. Um, I know Mateo and I did a video yesterday, and we had all kinds of things planned. We were going to do three or four more videos, and that never happened. Um, we spent the day, we played some catch out in the backyard, my mom came over, we hung out for a little bit, we actually watched three movies yesterday, The Sandlot, Little Big League, and Empire Strikes Back. We made some great food, not a traditional turkey and all that sort of thing, just because everybody in my family has got some different tastes, so we always make a different type of Thanksgiving. Um, the last night, the ladies all went shopping. And they had a great time, came back way in the wee hours and we were asleep, but Mateo and I watched game one of the 1980 World Series and put up the Christmas tree. So we had a wonderful super time. And I'm going to take a few minutes now to show you some additions that came in in the mail actually in the last couple weeks for my PCs, um, plus some new stuff. Like I said, we're getting back into the hobby, so there's things I don't know and that weren't around, so... We're checking things out, but first we're going to start with the uh, weight card challenge. You know, we started a long time ago. I um, had some health issues, and I am on a goal of losing 60 pounds. And now um, I'm collecting cards. If I if I buy a ray, that means my weight went down. If I buy a twin, that means my weight went up. So we're looking for rays. Um, every once in a while, there might be a twin sprinkled in, and then it's uh, the player's number for how many pounds I have left to lose. Um, so I started at 60, and right now, <clears throat> we got some in. Mikey Matuk, that's a ray. We're down to 27 pounds to go, followed by another ray. So we're going in the right direction. Um, Russ Johnson, who used to be an infielder, I believe we got him from the Astros at one time. So we're at 25, and then we continue with another ray. Uh, Mr. Jake Odorizzi at 23. So at this point, we have 23 pounds to go. So it's been a fun little ride, and it's fun to um, keep track of this via cards, and that's one of the things that got me back into it, so that's pretty cool. Now, for some of my PC action, um, I picked up this Ricky Henderson in his Oakland A's. Always loved the Oakland A's jerseys. So, Ricky, you're going to be part of my Ricky Henderson binder. And I also got uh, something else that I started, the Willie Adamas PC. Um, and these are cards that I don't know about, so I had to look it up, but they're just crazy. Cards never looked that good before. This is a Bowman Chrome Purple Shimmer Refractor. Are you kidding me? Purple Shimmer Refractor. The thing is gorgeous. So that's going into the Willie Adamas collection. And then, of course, I've got the Rod Carews that I'm going on. Rod Carew happens to be my all-time favorite player. And uh, Mateo's middle name is Carew, so... That tells you something else. But I picked some up. This Fleer Rod Carew right here is going in the binder. Along with this Instant Impact, Mr. Rodney Carew. And then we got some uh, old school, not old school, but with the Angels. This is some of the uh, overproduced 80s cards, I believe. This is um, Carew with the Angels. And then we have an old, now this is a um, 60 Years of Tops card. This isn't um, the original but there's a 1972 um, reprint card. I'll be adding the 72 at some point, I'm sure. And then another Rodney Carew. Tops card here with the Twins. So those are all Carew editions. There's actually a couple more because since uh, when I used to collect cards, they didn't have relics, they didn't have autographs, they didn't have this, they didn't have that. So I've picked up a couple things just to see what um, this is all about and to... Mark, hey, these are the first ones. So I got purchased my first relic. It is a timber and threads relic. It's a Rod Carew, a little chunk chunk of his bat with a it's numbered eight out of 125. So there was 125 of these made. Um, uh, that's a great first Rod Carew relic. First of many, I'm sure. And then I saw all these videos, and when I collected before, there was no such thing as PSA or any grading system or anything like that. So I'm like, well, what are these slabs? I keep seeing all these gorgeous vintage cards that people are showing and all that. So I picked up a 1976 Rod Carew. It's a PSA Near Mint 7. Um, so, <clears throat> again, not sure what the grading system is and all that. So this is more stuff for me to research and look into. But here's the start of that. It's a PSA slab, my first one. It's a pretty neat container um, that they come in. And I also picked up 
1976 Tops, also Minnesota Twin, Danny Thompson. And this is a Mint 9. Um, so this is the start of another, I'm sure, tangent in my collection that I'm going to be having. So thank you so much for watching. All the videos that we planned on making yesterday, we are going to make today because I don't work today again, which is really sweet. Um, in a little bit, uh, we're going to go get my mom's tree out of storage and all her Christmas decorations. And then uh, we're going to hang out as a family once again. So this is actually Thanksgiving Day 2 in our house. So until later on today, I think we've got a Pack Wars coming up um, with the Tops Update cards and uh, some other fun stuff. So until then, MC will be back. This is MP Fox and peace.